It's the middle of summer, and camping and travel are more popular than ever, trying to squeeze the last bit of summer vacation time out of your schedule. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways, and this week I'm taking you to a corner of the central southern Oregon coast that you may have missed. It's a place that's more akin to some vast exotic locale where sand dunes stretch as far as the eye can see. Come on along as we head to the Oregon Dunes National Recreation Area. The Oregon Dunes is an ageless place in a timeless setting. The sand doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it. So this is a challenging place to live. One of the most unique environments along the coast. We're coming into the open dunes. Pow, there's all that sand. Marty Giles is an ecotour guide, and she says the Oregon Dunes stretches more than 42 miles from Florence to Coos Bay. Surprisingly, the sand didn't come from the ocean to the west, but from the mountains to the east. Bits of rock brought from the mountain out to the ocean, and the sand grains that we're standing on right now came down the streams and rivers, up and down the ocean, and the sea level was lower, pushed up as the sea level's been rising. Hiking puts you in touch with the dunes, so does this. Put that in the light. Look at that, holy cow. Sand is made up of whatever's available. What you are looking at on your finger are grains, rock crystals that are broken apart and moved here. They're all different minerals. The clear grains are quartz, and they're different colors, they're different hardness too. Well, it gets better. It really does at nearby campgrounds where you can set up a tent or park your trailer for a longer stay. There are more than 500 U.S. Forest Service campsites in the dunes, like Carter Lake. This is beautiful. I think that dynamic nature of the place is what draws a lot of people to it. You've got the beauty of the forest, the rhododendrons. Just a little bit over this hill, though, you get into these beautiful dunes landscapes that change hourly. It is a giant sandbox with plenty of elbow room and where Gabriel Cruz has discovered a new way to play. It's a free sport. There's nobody to really tell us, you know, you can't do that. You can pretty much, you can be out in the dunes 24 seven. There's no real restrictions on what parts of the dunes you can be on. If you have board sport experience under your feet, you're halfway there. Lon Beal is the owner of Sandmaster Park. He says you can find all the gear you need, plus lessons and guides to start boarding the dunes from his shop in Florence. He adds that sandboards resemble skateboards, but have a gentle rocker to them, like a wakeboard, plus rounded edges that slide through the sand. Best of all, at 32,000 acres, there's no shortage of sand. You got 50 miles of dunes here. So there's still doomed faces. There's still areas that have never been sandboarded before. So if you're willing to hike back in, you'll find areas that look like, to us, look like Disneyland. We go to Dune? Sure. Catherine Bell and her daughter Casey thought about a Disneyland vacation. Okay, we're ready to go. But decided the Oregon Dunes would give them a chance to share something new. All loose on your back feet, okay? Instructor Kareem Hossam traveled to Oregon from his home in Egypt to become a sandboarding instructor. He says many newcomers, like Catherine, are snowboarders who need to think about this sport differently. She's used to snowboard before, so she's just putting all her weight in the front feet. And on sandboarding, you have to put all your weight in your back feet. Six-year-old Casey has never done anything like this before. She's a natural. A healthy, eco-friendly sport. It's the kind of sport you can, you can fall in love with and ride for the rest of your life. It sticks with you. Back in the dunes with Marty, she says this sandy environment is interesting and complex, and no matter how you travel here, be ready for a place that's alive and ever-changing. Everybody likes the open sand. Everybody likes this variety of habitat, the openness of the dynamics of things changing. It feels very wild because the wind is usually blowing and it's just, it has a wonderful, fulfilling nature to it. Everybody likes it. The Oregon Dunes is a place that once visited, you will never want to leave. It is so special a place in Oregon. We have all the details, directions, contact information right here on the Travel Oregon website so you can create your own summer vacation. So until next week, do get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors. Let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McCombie.